Hey y'all, today we're going thrifting at my favorite Goodwill. We are always here, I know. <laughs> it's just so good. It's a tag sale day and like the it's so fun to film here because like the finds are always just outrageously good. So uh, I'm excited to take you through. I'm gonna keep this intro brief, but I did think it would be fun to share before we go in a little bit about what I'm actually gonna be looking for, what's on my thrift list right now. And we can sort of talk about what aesthetics y'all are excited about and uh, let you know what I'm excited about right now. For myself, I've been really into like the whimsy goth fashion lately that's 90s inspired. I just think it's so fun, a little bit darker and like very wearable to me. So I'm looking for pieces for myself. I may have had lipstick on my teeth right there. And also not for myself at all really, but uh, in general, I'm really excited about clown core fashion aesthetic. I really hope it takes off just because I think it's actually so exciting and inspiring. It's fun to see people and like how they actually style those pieces. I do want to look through all the bottoms because for myself, I'm really interested in just like denim and maxi skirts right now. But I also want to look for mini skirts and shorts for my shop. So we'll just look at them all. I'm always open to really wearable like vintage sun dresses and for my shop I'm hoping to find more 60s and 70s dresses but those tend to be more difficult for me to find so we'll see and the last thing I'll mention is that at this Goodwill in particular I always seem to find that like one sleeper designer piece hidden somewhere in the store we'll see we'll see if we find the designer piece wherever it may be hidden in there today and like you and I will just share a little secret high five over it so that pretty much covers every department in the store. So we'll just get started and see what we find today and hope we find some good tag sale items as well. Let's thrift. All right, so of course I forgot to mention like two things in <laughs> what I'm looking for. And um, the other is the cottage core aesthetic. We have red and yellow tags on sale, so. I always get so excited coming here, I don't know where I want to turn. <laughs> the first thing I pulled is this amazing little 60s dress. Oh, that's so cute. That's a yes. Love these little like basic pinafore style dresses too. This one zips up and it's vintage. Cute. Love it to see floral and it has pockets. It's a bright summery rayon dress with big yellow flowers. Okay, this is like a basic uh, linen blend dress. Safari style kind of, like 80s safari. But look at the buttons, they're leopard print. That's so cute. There's another piece down here that I'm excited to get to, but let's see. Thing in between. Oops. I love the like basic velvet dresses actually for that like whimsy off fashion. That one's cute. I love a peplum waist, but this one's like a little bit too workwear for me. Oh. Another cute pinafore style. This is loft. This is the one. Like wearable sundress. That is really sweet. That's going in the cart for sure. Ooh, probably my favorite of the pinafore styles are these like whale cord. The super thick corduroy like that. This color is pretty good too. It's like older Talbot style. Might have to pick that up for my shop. A uh, vintage, maybe handmade dress. This is a really cool statement with the, the all white with just black buttons and it has pockets. I would have loved to see what the belt was like with that, right? Yep. Wow, this knit dress with sequin details. It's actually so pretty for the holidays.
Okay, so here's what I just found, a bunch of them. So little uh, 70s, I believe, poly button-down dress. I do like the color of it and the darting, like the cuff sleeve. I don't think we've got any tags, but she's cute. I bet you there's a union tag on the inside of that, though. Just a little uh, 90s number, the LBD with the bright green trim. That could be fun to style. And then some cute, sweet 80s dresses. This one. I like how this is actually shorter. Like a lot of these are maxi length, but this one actually is like knee length, which is really cute. This one is a Christmas print, I think. I think those are all like angels and stars on it and like a little homemade one, but it's so cute. Great fabric. There's so much more. Let's keep going. <laughs> okay, just find after find here, but so excited about this vintage uh, 90s Express is like some of my favorite pieces in fashion right now. Um, love to find it. This one, definitely fitting that like whimsy goth aesthetic that I want. This set is like the most, the cutest thing ever. It's like cream with purple polka dots. Skirt and blouse. Uh, John Mayer. Wow, it's adorable. And then there's a Pendleton skirt set right behind it in this pastel blue. Another Pendleton. Another vintage tweed set. Oh, cute. Ooh, I'm really into this suit. <laughs> you know I love brown. Yeah, don't forget to check the set section because some of my favorite pieces I found in there. All right, now let's take a quick look. We're down by the shoes and bags and they're kind of small sections, so we'll do a quick browse, but I did spot these. These are Justin boots. I think modern, size eight, not my size. They have like this chunky square toe too. It's interesting, but fun colors. And I think they have $16 on those, not bad. These colors are really cute. Michael Kors. And they're seven. These are really interesting. Like embroidered pattern on them. <laughs> and the tag kind of cracked me up because I'm really mature. Poopy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, six bucks. Eee. Teeny little cowboy boots. Texas leather patchwork bag. Okay, that's fun. There's no label, but oh, I really like it. Seven bucks, I'm gonna think about it. I'm also always a sucker for these leather patchwork bags. That's cool, because it's all black. I might look at it closer. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on this because uh, I think if it had a crossbody strap, I'd be more into it, but yeah, we'll leave it. That's basically it for shoes and bags, I told you. It's like a small section, but um, still lots more to see in here. So I'm gonna wander around and just feel it out and get to the next section, but we've got like tops and bottoms and then still look through jackets, maybe. Oh, I forgot. They actually sometimes put uh, bags on the end caps. So I actually did find my Enya bag <laughs> that they seem to keep finding me. So that's going in the cart. We are in the women's tops now. There's so many. The sweater is beautiful, super cute, but uh, I think it's a pass for now. Oh my God, look at this. Okay, so just a little cheetah print cardigan, right? But it's from Tally Ho. So maybe like a 90s one? I don't know. It's cute to me. $4.99, maybe. I wish this was short sleeve silk, Maggie London, 
cute pattern. Oh man, also just really out of season, but I might have to grab it. Such a classic plaid knit vintage McGregor wool blend sweater. Yeah, that's too good. The color is so vibrant too. I know it's looking orange on camera, but it's definitely red. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> this would be fun to wear to bingo night. <laughs> oh, look at this. Little Argyle cardigan, vintage. Oh, that's way cute, that's a yes. You know how you say like a glimpse of something on the rack and you just like, I don't know what that is, but I know what it is. Like I know this is probably an eagle eye knit sweater with like teacher themes on it. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay, so this is funny. This is actually an eagle eye brand, but it's plain. <laughs> Oh, that's way cute. A mm, couple stains, but it is on sale, so that's a maybe. Another thing I'm excited to see. This, to me, like almost kind of fits in with like a clown core vibe because of the loud print. This Pierre Cardin. That's really cute, actually. No, really, I'm I'm just gonna have one glass. I'm just gonna have just one. Okay, I like this style a lot like the funky short sleeve blouse but um the material is like scratchy it's not the worst but i don't know i kind of feel like i should pass like i could okay. i could probably do better but someone will like that i think it's cute just uh, an embroidered sweater but the cutest tag lady pickering and we have a winner i think yep, yep. Yep, this is so my dream. <laughs> wow. Oh gosh, oh my gosh, there's more. There's more. Dazzled the jeweled. Look at the size of those things. Ooh, sale tag too. Okay, all right. Aw, vintage cardigan. Ooh, when people cut sweatshirts into cardigans. Not a bad one. Custom. There's still a ton left. Um, I don't know if I'm like sticking to my list very well, but I think that's fine. I think the list was just like an idea, but um, the store is telling me what I want. <laughs> but I do want to hustle because I'm going to try to get to one other Goodwill today. So I think we're going to speed around the last of these women's tops. I wish I was short sleeve too. just came upon a bunch of super cute like vests and waistcoats. Look at this Pendleton. Yeah, excited about those. Look at them. like slinky black and white skirts so maybe oh I'm definitely looking for long like maxi length denim skirts too I don't think I mentioned that before oh that's plus size as well oh you know what I'm it's a pretty good one I wish it had I don't know a little more interest to it but kind of a wrap style maybe No way. No way. It happened again. Amazing. 
I'm not gonna lie, I heard someone over here looking at the men's stuff and saying, oh, Mima sweater, Mima sweater. Like finding sweater after sweater and I like came running over here. <laughs> like, I want that Mima sweater. So good. All right, so I've got through everything. I'm like severely behind schedule. My cart is crazy overflowing, I'll show you. And uh, I've gotta get going. So I think I am unfortunately gonna just like cut the thrift with me part here and just save it for the haul. So I'll have to show you everything that I found, like so many goodies in my cart. Love this Goodwill, always find the goods. Um, we'll do the haul next and you'll see. <laughs> Ooh boy, do I have a lot of awesome stuff from this haul. So let's get into it. I'm just gonna show you everything today. Okay, since we went in with a little bit of a thrift list, let me start by showing you the things that I think kind of fall under the whimsy goth aesthetic. I love 90s Express. This dress is everything. Love the big collar. Super fun Wednesday Adams vibes. Really good crushed velvet dress in a nice plus size. I think I've got a customer for that. Love this maxi skirt, cool like crisscross doodle pattern on there. I think I have this in a maxi dress as well with the same brand. <laughs> this beautiful velvet skirt. It's Jones New York dead stock with the original tags and there's a floral design in the velvet. It's so pretty. Just a little black velvet waistcoat. This is just a flowy black rayon skirt and I think I'm gonna keep this one for myself. And I was able to find some pieces that fit more of like a cottage core slash like academia type of aesthetic. Little 80s blouse. This amazing 60s quilted jacket. Oh, it's so precious. 60s plaid pinafore dress. Just the good white collared knit and a red turtleneck knit from the 60s. This lovely Pendleton wool vest. These two funky pattern tapestry vests. And this checkered wool vest. This is a micro corduroy vest with this funky design on it. And a blue textured knit cardigan from the 60s as well. This little plaid pinafore style dress. Vintage 80s blouse. Little short sleeve knit. Little short sleeve knit with a collar. Cute denim skirt. I got a few plaid skirts and this one is Laura Ashley. Cute. I think these will make a fun like cottage core or academia look for someone. And this one is from the 70s. Kind of cool boho, kind of cool hippie vibes. And the Burberry skirt. <laughs> and then there's always stuff that just like falls under funky, I don't know, whatever fun vintage that I just couldn't leave behind. So now I'll just show you those. Pieces. I got these two bags. I went with the Texas one and I found it as dated 1991 on there. So that's kind of cool. And then this one is a little like straw bag with all these little vegetables sewn into it. So cute. I never find belts. I found three really amazing ones. Look at that. I got two really amazing jackets for a steal. This one you saw me try on, leather and fur trim. And then I also, on my way out, found this vintage and yay leather jacket. Oh, I have seen these around before and they usually are quite pricey. Because of the tag sale, I got this one for $4. 80s silk dress. I had to get this sweater. This is just too fun. This is like thrift store dreams. This one, yes. 
this really fun argyle bright cardigan. This little jungle print tank top. The plaid McGregor sweater, just too classic. I know out of season, but too classic. 90s grandpa sweater. The bright Pierre Cardin blouse. This one I think could fall under like a clown chorus styling. The <laughs> oversized puppy print sleep tee. I mean, I had to. <laughs> T-shirt from one of my favorite bands. I got these two super bright striped polos and just looking at the tags and the construction, I think they're from the 70s, which is really cool. Thank you for thrifting with me. It's been a ton of fun and I'll be back soon with another video.